Before we get started today, I want to tell you some exciting news. I've been working on something for almost a year and I'm so happy now that I can finally announce that it's happening. So last year, for those of you who remember, my good buddy Gavin Hardcastle, aka Photo Tripper, came to Ireland and he fell in love with the place so much that we've been working hard with my buddy Bernard to organise a photography event like no other. Capture Ireland is going to be something which is really going to help you capture the essence and the culture and some amazing shots on some incredible spots around Ireland. If you ever wanted to visit Ireland for photography, then this is the time to do it. You'll have three highly fun and professional photographers that are going to show you around to get those amazing spots. The best places for a pint of Guinness, a cosy pub, a nice cup of coffee and all being whisked around without having to worry about a thing. So if you want more details here, I'll leave a link to it up here. It'll also be in the description of this video. Get in there quick because I know spaces will be gone fast. This is going to be amazing and I can't wait to meet you if you'd like to come. So now back to today's video. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to a totally new area that I've never brought you to before. Now, it's been a number of months actually since I've been to the coast, and of course, where am I going to come to when I get back to the coast? I'm going to come, as my tripod nearly fell here, I'm going to come to Dingle. And I'm at the very beginning of Dingle, I'm at a place called Minard, and there's a stunning relic of a castle over here on my left hand side, your right hand side, and I'm here early in the morning. And as you can see behind me, the sea is more or less lively, but we are on the hope of today getting some really nice storm conditions. So the remnants of Hurricane Ernesto, I think it's called, uh, is now coming over to the west coast of Ireland. It's since been renamed to Storm Lillian, but that's going to kick back in. So I'm in the kind of calm before the storm right now, and in around maybe two to three hours, it's going to kick in. So on the way, I was driving along and I spotted the castle here in the distance. There was nice light, but as you can see now, the clouds are coming in, blocking it. But I'm hopeful that it's going to come back out again. And what makes this place so nice is that you've got these ginormous boulders that are here and then these big waves that are coming through and then with the castle as well. It is quite treacherous to be able to walk around this. As you can see, my tripod just fell. So I'm going to make sure that it doesn't fall again when I get the camera set up on it. So yeah. That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to get my first shot set up and I'll check back in with you once I do that. Let's go. So I now have my composition more or less set up. It's pretty straightforward anyway. I'll give you a look here on the back of the camera what I'm recording to talk you through as I'm talking to you right now. But as you can see here, that the waves that are coming through, they're going to play a big part in my image. Now, I have this castle here. I've got it positioned more or less on the right-hand side of my thirds. And then with the water as it's coming in and these fantastic boulders leading you around the image and up to the castle. What I need now to be able to make this shot is light, of course, as always, but I'm going to play around here and I'm going to do a couple of different types of exposures. So I'm going to go for a relatively fast exposure. I'm going to go for a eighth of a second. I'm going to go for half a second. And then I might put on my filters and go for a longer exposure shot as well. So for the first one here now, I'll show you my first test shot that I've done. And then I'm going to introduce some filters and then go for probably an eighth of a second as the next shot. So yeah, here's the first shot now.
I've taken my first shot there now and it was at one quarter of a second and what I was doing was waiting for these waves to come through. There are quite some large waves that are coming through and they probably come maybe every seven or eighth wave but it's a matter of just waiting for that moment and then I'll track that wave as it's coming through and I've got my camera set up at high speed continuous and then I'll take a shot as the wave is coming in as it's curling then as it breaks and then as it smashes against these rocks. Now with the castle structure that's here behind me like I said a moment ago all I needed was light and I got a nice break in the clouds there ever so briefly but thankfully I was ready to be able to take the shot and to grab that shot at that point in time. So that was my quarter of a second shot. I am going to wait now again and I'm going to um, go for my preferred half a second shot and the reason I prefer to go for a half a second shot is you get a lot more movement in that water. Plus I'll be able to get a shot as the water is coming in but also as the water is coming out. Now I'm quite far as you can see from where the water's edge is but as these waves come through they are quite ferocious but I probably might risk dropping down here slightly to be able to capture more of a dynamic shot to be more closer to the action um, but for now anyway I'll give you a look at the quarter second shot uh, and then I'm going to take the half a second shot as well and I'll see how that works out after I get that. So my quarter or my half a second shot actually I do think I like I got blessed again by another bit of light which helped me as well to be able to get that shot but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on my 10 stop and I'm going to go for a longer exposure and I'm going to smooth out all of that water and what it should be actually will be a very nice finished image ideally if I got another burst of light which I think there might be there's not a gap in this cloud it will be quite good as well now I don't think I'm going to go down closer to the water the rocks I took a step on one or two of them they're quite slippery so I don't want to you know risk it and then be caught out down there with another wave coming in I think think nonetheless the way that the shot is actually arcing up towards the castle is quite good as well now I can feel some drops of rain too which is good that's what's been forecast so I'm going to change out my filter now I'll grab the long exposure shot and then I'll talk you through what I think finally after that. Okay, so uh, I've done a couple of different types of exposures actually there. I've done a 30 second exposure in landscape and then I also moved over to portrait. But as you can maybe see here, constantly having to clean the lens. Not just because of the drops of rain that I felt a moment ago, but also the way the wind is catching the waves as they break below here. And then it's blowing the spray up onto the front of the uh, filter. So 
constantly making sure that I'm keeping the filters clean but I'm happy actually with the images that I've gotten here from this morning those blushes of light I think were quite nice and now it kind of bodes well for what we're going to do for the remainder of the day So yeah, I'm going to finish up this episode in this stunning, stunning, stunning location. I hope you can join me on my next episode when we're going to go out into this weather here and it's hopefully going to get windy, rough and full of some great wave shots. So I hope you can join me for then. But until then, actually, uh, join me next Wednesday for my Behind the Raw where I'll talk you through an edit from one of the images that I've taken here today. And as always, if it's your first time on the channel, I'd really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment. It really does help the channel. And until the next time, schlange voll.